Number seven, applying the power rule and the product rule of positive exponents. First thing we have to do is apply that power rule. Keep in mind if I have negative x to the third, z to the fourth, that it's negative one x to the third, z to the fourth, and that I'm going to square that. So I'm going to take negative one and square it, x cubed and square it, z to the fourth and square it. So negative one squared, negative one times negative one is one. I would multiply my exponents using my power rule, so x to the sixth and z to the eighth. I'm then going to multiply that times the 2x squared y to the third z that I have in my other set of parentheses. So 1 times 2 is going to give me 2. When I multiply, I add my exponents, so x to the third times, or x to the sixth times x to the second would be x to the eighth. I don't have any y's in this one, but I do have a y here, so y to the third. And then z to the eighth times z, z to the ninth. So my answer ends up being 2x to the eighth y cubed z to the ninth. Number eight, same kind of thing. I'm going to raise this to the fourth power. So I'm going to take the negative 1 to the fourth, the x cubed to the fourth, the y squared to the fourth, and the z squared to the fourth as my first step. So negative 1 to the fourth is 1. I get x to the twelfth, y to the eighth, and z to the eighth when I multiply my exponents. I'm going to multiply that by the negative 2x to the third y, z to the third. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. x to the third times x to the twelfth, I add my exponents, x to the fifteenth. y times y to the eighth would be y to the ninth. And z to the third times z to the eighth would be z to the eleventh. Number nine then. If I go ahead and do that one, my exponent is on the outside of the second one here, so I'm going to square everything. Negative two squared would be positive four. Multiplying my exponents, I'd have x to the sixth, y to the sixth, and z squared. I'm going to multiply that by the negative two x squared, y squared, z to the fourth. So multiplying that out, I would have negative eight, x squared times x to the sixth, I add my exponents, so x to the eighth, y is also going to be to the eighth, and z is going to be to the sixth. So 2 plus 6 is 8, 2 plus 6 is 8, and 4 plus 2 is 6.